God is not asking you to go along with this evil man called Ahab. He doesn't care whether you are a king or queen. I am the child of God. I am chosen by God. What the world can do at the most? You can kill my body. You can cut my head. More than that, what you can do? My life is more than the body. So, why should I lose my courage? Maybe in the world you don't give me food to eat. Maybe you despise me. I don't care. Nobody has the right to take away the courage my God has given to me as his son, as his daughter. That's why God says, you are called to walk straight. In the book of Genesis chapter 4, verse 8 onwards, where God talks, talks to Cain, my son, if you do well, you can raise your head and walk. Yes. Now, Mika says, these are false prophets. Immediately we read chapter 18, verse 23. Sadakia, the son of Janiah, he went near and struck Micah the prophet on the cheek, said, which way did the spirit from the Lord go from me to speak to you? Because Sadakia was one of those false prophets. You said, the Holy Spirit went away and false spirit came to me, you are saying, he went and hit, slapped in doing God's will. You may go through pain. You may even humiliate it. Even you may be persecuted. But do you? Your life is once. It's up to you. It's up to you. Joy is found not in the absence of suffering, but in the presence of God. Is my life meant to be a life without suffering or life with the presence of God? Each one in one time or another have to take a decision in their lives. What is the purpose of my life? Do I focus my life to live a life without suffering and pain? That is a group of people. Uh, there are other group of people. What happens to me doesn't matter. The purpose of my life is to live in the presence of God. The depth of God calls man to live the life of death. It's up to him. It's up to us. I want to be someone in the world. Okay. I want a life without suffering. Okay. There's a group of people. Joy is not found in the absence of suffering, but in the presence of the divine. So, Sadakia hit Mika, but Mika said, You can at the most hit me, I don't care, because I am already honored by my God. I am honored in the presence of my God. I will tell what God tells me. Jasafat, this is not God's will. You do whatever you wish. He went away. Jasafat knew, but still he did not know what to do with his relative. His own daughter is given to. What will that fellow do to my daughter? So many people in their love for their family, they have moved away from the will of God. There are more, so many people with a love for name and fame to establish themselves. They have moved away from the will of God. Such a great man who has seen so many victories with the presence of God. He did not know what to do. When Ahab says, we have to go for the battle, will you not help me? He says, okay, okay. He knew it's not God's will. 
But he went with Ahab. Ahab said, You go in my chariot and I will disguise myself and like an ordinary fellow I will come here and there. And as they went for the battle, the enemies, that's what we read in today's, the Syrian king told the soldiers, don't attack anybody because we have got too many numbers. We can easily attack these two kings. But the cruel man is the king of Israel, Ahab. We have to catch him. Don't kill any innocent soldier. So he tells his army, go after the king of Israel and bring him alive. And they were running behind because in the chariot of Israel, Jehoshaphat is sitting. So they go on, he met the war arrows. Then Jehoshaphat realized, he realized the mistake that has happened. He they surrounded him, attack, but Jehoshaphat was 31. So Jehoshaphat cried out and he cried out to God, Lord help me. Lord helped him and God diverted the enemy's mind to recognize that it is not Ahab. Somebody else is sitting in the chariot. It's God's grace. Even when we go away from God's will, God, God gives us that time of grace to repent and to return back to God. Don't go on play with yourself. There is a time for grace and mercy. So Josephat, with great relief, he came back just like God escaped, like the bird escaped from the hands of the hunter. He came, he was so dispersed. But one fellow in the Syrian army, he already took the arrow, he did not know what to do. So he simply aimed and that went and hit at the both the hands arrow of Ahab. And Ahab was wounded near the heart. And he died. And as the prophet Elijah had spoken, the dogs came and licked his blood. And Jesophat, with great relief, I, oh, I escaped. He escaped with a little, with the mercy of God. He still shocked in that moment. Verse 2, chapter 19, Jehu, the son of Hanai, the seer, the priest, went out to meet Jehoshaphat and said to King Jehoshaphat, Should you help the wicked and love those who hate the Lord? How dare you are to compromise and to throw away your life to a man of evil? Take care. You may be a servant of God. You may have to so many pujas for God. Don't compromise. This is God warning you, giving you last opportunity. Get last. Close your eyes. Just so far to return back. Dead his life fully for God. When we do the will of God, when we work for the salvation of God, there is something called will of God. Doing things in God's way. You can do many things for God in your own way. Doing God's work in God's way. God is calling us. God is calling us that we may live with Him and for Him. My dear friends, 
Sangamam Plus TV is God's gift for you for our times. Like, comment, share and subscribe. God will do wonders in your life. Praise the Lord.